Together with forewarned meteorologist Shay Sorensen, Shay, a lot warmer this morning than yesterday, and it'll get even warmer later. Exactly. Another warm afternoon. High temps pushing back into the mid to upper 70s for the warmest spots, but it's a mild start this morning thanks to the warm afternoon yesterday and the cloud cover this morning. So most of us in the 40s and 50s across eastern uh, Pima County, so still cold out there. You'll at least want a jacket, but better compared to yesterday where we were waking up in the upper 30s and low 40s. So feeling okay here to the south, mainly in the 40s. 40s across uh, to back end uh, Nogales, 50 for Sierra Vista compared to 45 in Bisbee, 33 in Douglas right now, 37 in Pierce and at the freezing mark in Duncan. So of course we still have some pretty cold spots this morning, but better compared to yesterday. High temps pushing into the mid to upper 70s this afternoon again, but keep in mind the record today is 79 set back in 2004. We're pushing to about 77, potentially 78 again this afternoon, and we could potentially get to 79. So be be sure to tune in at three. We'll have an idea of what our high temp for the afternoon will be uh, overnight tonight. It's going to get colder because we'll have a pretty clear sky, so we don't have those clouds to keep us warm. So temps dropping into the upper 30s and 40s, 20s overnight tonight to the south end east. So colder for your Wednesday morning high temps today, though, mainly in the 70s across Cochise County with a few 60s on the board as well. This is the setup for today. We've got an area of low pressure on the way, and that is going to pass through tomorrow and Thursday, bringing us a chance for some light showers east of Tucson and a little bit of a breeze as well today and on top of all of that some colder temperatures too. So for the forecast wind gusts we'll start with this uh, later on this morning and into the afternoon that is when the wind will pick up gusts between about 15 to 25 miles per hour can be expected, but our friends in Bisbee a little closer to 30 miles per hour at times this afternoon, so you might want to secure loose objects just in case there. By 4 p.m. still a bit gusty, but that wind will die down after the sun sets tonight. So a little bit breezy to windy today, a little bit of cloud cover as well. So we are tracking a few clouds. Could see a nice sunrise this morning because of this cloud cover. We'll have some breaks, but by 8 a.m. those will gradually start to decrease, and by 3, most of us seeing sunshine from Tucson to the south with a few clouds hanging on to the north. Most of tomorrow we are clear, but as we work our way towards late Wednesday, we're going to start to see a few showers develop, especially east of Tucson. This is 11 p.m. Wednesday night, even some snowfall possible up towards Greenlee County, where we could see potentially up to about an inch of snowfall. Light, light rainfall possible in northern Cochise, Graham and Greenlee County, but total wise, it's looking very light. If anything, we'll see trace amounts to about a tenth of an inch. Unfortunately, most of us staying on the dry side. This is the system bringing that chance for rain and snow and colder temperatures and wind after this passes through temperatures will drop into the upper 60s on Thursday. So a little colder, but still slightly above average and then high pressure takes over for the weekend. So temperatures will warm right back up well above normal to recap upper 70s today close to that record high dropping into the upper 60s on Thursday, which is still slightly above average for this time of year, but closer to where we should be and then back in the low 70s over the weekend with a little bit of a breeze on Friday and Saturday mid 70s. Sunday and Monday. Let's go.